So as a Duracell end user, you will receive two applications, the Dura and the Duracell Energy application. The Dura I application is an application in which you're going to be able to see qual of data sets, but unfortunately on that application you're not able to make any changes. It's simply for visibility and it's simply for recommissioning of the system in case that you change your internet connection. For all changes, you'll need to use the Duracell Energy application, which is the end user application. So if you have any issues with your battery not charging from the grid, the first thing that you should do is verify that the timers are set up correctly on the application. So for that, you will log in onto your Duracell Energy application. You will click on the three horizontal lines on the right hand corner. And then on the menu, you will select schedule control. And from there, you will be able to see any timers that you have enabled. Make sure that the start time does not overlap the end time, make sure that it is enabled, and make sure also that the frequency that you have set up is an everyday occurrence, or you know, if you have selected incorrectly just once, it might be the case that it might not happen on the second day. Also, if you have any export issues, or if you see that your plant is exporting, and it shouldn't export at that time, make sure that all of the discharge timers on the schedule control are switched off. Your plan by default should work on self-use mode, which means it will cover your load first, and then any excess will be redirected to your battery. If you enable any discharge timers, all of your storage and generations will be exported to the grid. So make sure that you only use this feature when you really want to export everything to the grid. Also, please remember that once your battery has reached full capacity and is at 100% state of charge, any extra generations that you might have will be redirected to the grid as excess. So quite frequently we get customers calling about data visibility, loss of data. So please make sure that if you have changed your provider or if your internet has gone down, you will not see any data on your application. This does not mean that your system is not operating. So please check that if you are still connected to the internet, we can give a full explanation on how to reconnect to your Wi-Fi again in the following video. So for any change to an email address or setting up a password or not receiving your verification email, please understand that to change all of this information, you will need to contact Duracell. You can contact them on 1386 five double seven eight four five please remember the application is not propriety to solar express and we do not have the capacity to make these changes so in this section we're going to basically try to troubleshoot some of the most important or hardware issues that you can have so on the front of your inverter you will have a little led screen if you can see any red lights on this screen please call solar express also, if you needed to perform a shutdown procedure on your inverter, you will have to locate first your AC isolator, which will look like this. The next thing that you will need to do is to switch, the, switch off your battery. There is a silver button that is on the top of the unit. And then the next thing that you will need to do is isolate the PV, which is located underneath the inverter. And you just basically can just, just lock it into the off position. You should leave your system in this state for at least 30 to 40 minutes while the capacitors on the inverter is fully discharged. And then to restart the system, you just need to follow this procedure in reverse. So you will start from your PV, then you will turn on the battery, and then last but not least, you will do again your turn on your AC isolator. 